shared with you the first word that you said, or one of the first words that you learned when you were learning how to talk? James, you know? What, what is Mom, that's a good one. Wah. Wah. Okay. <laughs> There's probably a lot of wah. They might be ball. It might be uh, ice cream. That would be pretty complicated if you were able to say that. That would be pretty good. Sometimes kids' first word is no. And why do you think that? You just demonstrated. Stand up and redo that, which you just did. No. Right. That is why it's our first word, because we tend to sometimes see that demonstrated at us. Yeah. And exactly, with that face. Exactly, with that face. Well, Jesus today in our scriptures had a lot of no like that that he wanted us to know about. He was trying to teach his disciples that the way they acted did not display what they were saying out loud. He said, so I need you say, to, be, to say no to being so angry at somebody that you can't forgive them. I need you to say what? No, no to discarding the friends that you already have to take up other ones. And exactly, and I need you to say no, exactly, to saying the things, wanting people to listen to you when the way you're acting is not right. For example, if so, would you listen to a person who called you names, insulted you, wouldn't forgive you when you tried to, to let them know that you were sorry, who discarded you as a friend in order to get other friends and then said, hey, listen to me, what I have to say. Do you think you would listen to that person? You would turn off your hearing aids, you are correct. <laughs> you are correct, you would turn off, lock the doors, you would turn off your hearing aids. So what Jesus was saying to the disciples is, if you're going to say yes to God, you have to be willing to say no to those things. Because the two don't go together. If we're saying yes to God, we can't be acting in the ways that the disciples were acting. And some of the disciples did listen. And some of them did say yes, I am willing to say no to those things in order to say yes to God so people will listen to me. And you know how I knew they listened? Because we're still talking about it today. Over 2,000 years later, the message of God's love has been shared. So I know that some listen to that. So we have to listen really carefully and watch what our anger is, is to others, what our friendship is to others, and how we act for how we're speaking. Let us pray. Dear God, there's a lot of things that we might have to say no to in our lives that we're comfortable in being in, in order to say yes to you. Help us to lower those no's and rise up that yes to you. Amen. <laughs>